October 7th, 2001. October 7th, 2001. What happened that day, Rich? That was the date that Bobby Bonilla stepped to the plate for the Cardinals, pinch hitting for Edgar Renteria in the ninth. Wow. He struck out swinging. The Cardinals lose 9-2. They go on to win the division, advance to the playoffs. They lost to the Diamondbacks in a division series in which Bonilla did not play. So this was the final at-bat of the career of Bobby Bonilla, who was a crucial part of the Pirates yeah. run with Jim Leland as the manager and the Bonds been the uh, Van Slyke in that outfield. In, 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 in the early 90s, right? And that's when Bonds first started coming, you know, into his, his game as a th- stick thin, five tool, surefire Hall of Fame player, right? I got to witness a lot of those games. Oh, my gosh. But then Bobby Bo joined the Mets in the worst team that money could buy, mm. to use the phrase at the time where his, um, uh, shall we say, communications with the New York media were um, absolutely, uh, what's the word for it? Um, no, like a dumpster fire, total <laughs> dumpster fire. I think he told Bob Clappish, covering the team, make your move, like strolled up to him, yep. you know, with his chest puffed, and it was the Mets were supposed to be terrific and um, spend a ton of money, and it was brutal. And that... Um, contract that Bobby Bo signed, Chris. Uh, do you have that information there uh, in, yes. in front of yes, you? Stand by. The contract that he signed has an annual annuity that's paid out till he's 72 years of age, till 2035, correct? 2035. And today is the day on which it is paid. It is paid every July 1st, and it has become to be known as Bobby Bonilla Day, a perfect example of the Mets, um, I guess, uh, bad <laughs> karma. Come on. Absolutely. They're bad, they're, they're bad team building for so many years. It's also uh, a sign of them not having the money. Not having the money in the big media market not using the money not having it like we're, here's what we're gonna do we're gonna sign our guy to a big contract and they'll pay him out a million bucks per year for a quarter century and more well we just we can't afford it now but we'll just kick it all the way down to 2030 yeah so he actually had a five-year deferred from the orioles at the same time as the mets from wow. 2011 to 2015 he got 2.5 million oh, no. over five years deferred and then the Mets kicked in in 2011. There you go. A 25-year, $29.8312 million uh-huh. deferred contract. So he gets 1.19 and change from 2011 until 2035. Now, Steve Cohen, the, uh, the don't call me Bobby Axelrod of the <laughs> New York Mets, um, was joking when he took over the franchise that they were going to give – they were just going to pay out Bobby Bow and give him one big check or, or give him his – Annuity in one big check in a in a uh, photo op. At one of those Chase, big lottery at, checks at City like, Field. Yeah, yeah, one of those big lottery checks. Yeah. That's not happening though, right? We're, that is not happening. They made an announcement yesterday saying that tomorrow's a big day. Just you wait. Have they the Mets? Didn't they tweet something out? Yeah. yeah. So the uh, the announcement is that uh, Bobby's going to host uh, sponsored with Airbnb and City Field the ultimate Mets overnight experience starting <laughs> July eighth. Mets fans can go on Airbnb and request to book one night at City Field on July 28th with Bobby Bow. With Bobby Bow. Yeah. Make your move. Airbnb.com <laughs> slash Mets. What time do you think he checks? Wow. Like, did I get paid yet? 12. So <laughs> Bobby <laughs> Bow is one. now making more money from the Mets? I don't know if this is... He's not doing uh, this out of the goodness of his heart. Probably not. They're paying him. Probably not. I imagine this is an Airbnb so Mets slash So the thing. Mets are like, you know, you're famous for yeah. us not being able to pay you for so long. So let's make, let's have fun with it. Make a deal with Airbnb and, and City Bank, right? With our partner of naming our stadium. Right. And uh, let's do something. And I'm sure, you know, Bobby Bo getting a phone call from a billionaire owner of the Mets must be like... Uh, all right, how much you want to pay me? He's making more money out of it, huh? He's making more wow. money. If you want to have a good time, just read the comments under this post. <laughs> <laughs> well, at any rate, what else happened on October 7th, 2001? 
This how long this is how long That's it's so been long since ago. Bobby Bunny has been has played a game. Twenty years ago, this October. <laughs> and he's still getting paid off for another fourteen years. On that day, his former Pirates teammate, Barry Bonds, hit his seventy third home run. Jeez. He hit the 73rd and final home run of the season, which, as you know, stands today as the record with whatever asterisk you want to put on it. All of them. <laughs> on the day that Bobby Bo took his last at bat, <laughs> he's still getting paid. You know, collected his 3,000th career hit? Ricky Henderson on that day. Wow. First inning double to right in a game that the Padres uh, and San Diego would lose to the Rockies 14-5, to but... <laughs> Barry Bonds hit 73rd career his home run of his season, and Ricky hit his 3,000th career hit on the same day. That's amazing. The Seattle Mariners were going for what would have been a major league record 117th win. You remember that Mariners team? I do. Lost to the Rangers 4-3 to on an RBI single at the top of the ninth inning by Rafael Palmero. Jeez. Who would later go on to have a heck of a day in front of Congress. Man. You know what the winning pitcher that day was? Patrick Mahomes Sr. <laughs> what? Which is one way to put it. But Pat Mahomes. Pat Mahomes. The father of the current <laughs> co-Madden cover player. Oh, my goodness. Hey, speaking of the Madden cover, the other guy who's on the Madden cover right now, which is kind of crazy, Tom Brady made his second career start that day. His second career second start? Second career start. Lost 30 to 10 in Miami, welcoming him to a lot of fun days in Miami for can, him. Can, just, can we just stop on that for a second? Tom Brady was making his second career start. And and the photograph, put that up one more time, will you, Hoskins? It looks like he's on the infield. You remember the Marlins were playing inside the football oh, stadium? Yeah, 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 you're right. He's on an infield. Yep. He's on an infield dirt. I mean, who's right? he handing off to? Oh. He went 12 of 24 for 86 yards that day, sacked four times, fumbled twice, both recovered for. The Dolphins by future Hall of Famer Jason Taylor, who also scored a touchdown <laughs> in one of the fumbles. On the day that Bobby Bonilla took his last at-bat, and he's making a million-plus dollars on his annuity today with 14 more such payments to come. Wow. <laughs> Number one box office film on that day. Oh, man. Good one. Training day. Number one at the box office on that day. Boom. Number one song. Fallen by Alicia Keys, and price of gas was a dollar thirty-five. Oh, of course it was. <laughs> wow, that, that, Happy Bobby that Bonilla amazing. Day, everybody! That is, that is amazing. Well done. Good for Bobby Bo. <laughs> yeah, Rich, and I think when Cohen bought the team, I think you know he talked about just paying him off, but I think he also talked about embracing it every year. Yeah, too, in, the it, of, in the form of in the form of you know come hang out at the yeah. home of the Mets overnight. It's a thing that's Let's happening. Keep it. So you know, it gets people it. to yeah, talk yeah, about yeah. the squad. We're doing well, so put some extra eyes Would on this. Would it be this, right so? for the Mets to pay it off? I don't know if they're allowed. Huh. And if you're Bobby Bo, would you do that? I don't think Good I would question. do that. I don't know. I yeah, don't... you'd probably take what? He's got how many left? 14 left? He's got 14 left. 14 payments left. I mean, I think Dion's still dead money on the Reds roster. Wouldn't be surprised. I think he's still cashing March shots checks. Did he get it deferred? I mean, this happens a lot. We don't hear about it. This is obviously the most famous one. Just because yeah, because it happened. Right. Well, and it involved, you know, Birdie made off and all that you, stuff. Exactly. Too, so. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.